Hello, welcome to Tech Alt. So we are just going to run through a little tutorial on how to do the diode circuit in order to test how the diode performs in both forward and reverse bias. So here I have built the circuit for the Zener diode. As you can see here, we're going to do it in forward bias. So when we say forward bias, we're talking about how the current, the conventional current, so the positive current, goes through the diode from this side to this side. So the diode's like an arrow. So the arrow's telling you what way the current should flow through the diode, conventional current, okay? We're talking about current that comes out the positive side of the battery. So here's our battery. The positive side is this side of the battery. So the long lines, if you imagine the long lines are pumping the current out in the direction of the long lines, okay? This is a positive side of the battery. So the current's going this way, okay? And it's going through our diode in the direction of the arrow, which means it is forward bias, okay? That's the easiest way to remember it. So when the forward bias set up, we want our resistor to be set to 22 ohms, okay? So just remember that. And forward bias is when we're sending out a positive current. So that's for all the values from zero volts up to 0.85 volts, okay? So this is forward bias. So you, you build your circuit just like this, very, very simple. You hit play and it's gonna tell you what current's going through the diode, okay? You can add a voltage reference on here, but you don't actually need it because you don't need to record the voltage for this task. It's just asking for these voltages, what is the current? So that's really all you need. It's as simple as that. So that's your forward bias through the Zener. Now, when we go down to <clears throat> reverse bias, so let's say we want to do, we'll go to the maximum, we'll go to the minus 12 volts, okay? All you do is change the battery to minus 12 volts, okay? That way you're telling, the minus is telling multi-sim to send the current now out of the negative side of the battery in an anti-clockwise direction. And now we're going through the diode the wrong way. In other words, reverse bias, okay? Now, the issue here then is that once we hit the negative, values for our voltage. In other words, once we go into reverse bias, we must make sure that our resistor is one kilo ohm. We need a higher resistance for this. Okay, so that is reverse bias. Very simple. All you're doing is changing the resistor once you go down into the negative voltages and you're changing the voltages on the battery just through the negative voltages. You don't need to change your circuit build. You don't need to change the direction of the battery and rebuild it. What I see sometimes is people will change the direction of the battery, which is a whole hand thing because you have to delete all the wires and then rebuild it up again. Um, and you can do that. You can change the direction of the battery and then just have your 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 volts. But what I see quite often is people change the direction of the battery and they put a negative voltage in. Okay, when you put a negative voltage in, you're telling multi-sim to send current from the negative side of the battery. So if the negative side of the battery is pointing in the opposite direction from what you see here, then it's going to send minus 12 volts this way, which would still be forward bias, okay? So don't bother changing the direction of your battery, simply just change the voltage to the minus voltages. Now, if I run this, we're gonna see that there's still current going through the diode in the opposite direction, but you notice because the diode now has a resistance against this current, it's it's the current's gonna be a lot less than what it would be in, in forward bias in that situation, all right? So that's all there is to it. So forward bias is like this, reverse bias is the anti-clockwise direction, okay? When you put a minus onto it, you're telling it to send a current out of the negative terminal of the battery, okay? And remember, whenever you go into your minus voltages to change your resistance from 22 ohms to one kilo ohm, and you'll just do this and run, run it through every step so if you if you went to um minus two volts for example now we've got two volt two volts coming out of the battery this way anti-clockwise in reverse bias now what happens we can see we've got a nano amp here because there's not enough voltage to push anything through the diode because it's in reverse bias and the diode's like nah you're not getting through here you're not strong enough so we basically see no current or what we call a negligible current. But if you were to convert that to milliamps, it would essentially be zero. OK, so that is all there is to this. It's a very straightforward circuit. You just have to not 
fiddle around with your circuit. All you're doing is just changing your values and it will be very, very simple. And then you record your results in your table. You're going to create a graph that goes from minus 12 volts to plus 0.85 volts on the X axis. And then you're going to plot the current results on that graph for both the Zener and the standard diode. And you will see that they both produce different curves. All right, give it a go.